I think it's always been quite interesting when I hear the media is constantly telling us to follow the science. Politicians are constantly telling us to follow the science. I've always had an issue with that because something does not seem right when I hear them constantly say and program our minds to follow the science. And now we're at a point where people are being silenced, not able to speak what they truly feel. If it does not go according to the science or to certain individuals, then you would not only be silenced, but you would also be punished to try to prevent you from doing it again. I want to read a snippet from an article that dates back to February 13th 2017, the devil always give you a warning. There's always red flags. They always put the truth in front of you. They really don't dwell on the truth. They dwell more on issues like race, white supremacy, things that, that cater to the emotions of certain groups of people because while you're over here fighting among yourself, on this other side, they're accomplishing their goals because you can't pay attention to what they're doing and at the same time fight your cause. I shared a story before in my store this guy comes in around Valentine's Day. And the young man is married. He's got a wife at home. A very dedicated wife, committed wife. So he comes in to buy her a Valentine's gift. And while he's in there, he also bought Valentine gifts for two other women. His women on the side. Now, he knows what his wife likes. She likes to read books by black authors. So what he did was he bought her almost $200 worth of black novels. While he was buying his girlfriends the candy and the hearts and the balloons and the teddy bears and uh, the lingerie. And he says to me, he said, I'll get her these books. He said, this will keep her busy. So while her mind is planted in those books, those black authors' books like Waiting to Exhale, uh, Stella Got a Groove Back. I'm just throwing some titles out there. These are movies, but I'm throwing titles out there. While she's at home with her eyes in those books, he's out there in the street doing what he want to do because... Her mind is not focused on him and what he's doing. At some level, she may be aware, but she don't care because she's in her own zone. She's reading her books. So he bought those books to keep her busy while he's out there doing his dirt in the streets. That's the same thing politicians on the left are doing. They keep your mind and your emotions occupied with emotions and white supremacy and racism and we're fighting about court cases and, you know, while we have right in the black community, blacks are dying every day at the hands of other blacks. You have unborn babies that's losing their lives at the hands of their own moms. Yes, the doctors are the ones that perform the abortion, but... The mother gives the okay, so it's still at the hands of the mother. That's the same thing it is with the devil. He'll put the truth out there so that he can say you, you knew about it. You were aware. We gave you the information, but you're not focusing on what he's showing you. 
you focusing on the emotions over here, things that are irrelevant, things that uh, does not enhance or better the condition that you're living in. So in this article, dated back February 2017, the title of this article is Elon Musk, Humans Must Merge with Machines or Become Irrelevant in AI Age. Humans must merge with machines or become irrelevant in AI age. The article starts off by saying billionaire Elon Musk is known for his futuristic ideas and his latest suggestions might save us from being irrelevant as artificial intelligence AI grows more prominent. The Tesla's and SpaceX CEO said on Monday that humans need to merge with machines to become a sort of cyborg. Over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence, Musk told an audience at the World Government Summit in Dubai, where he also launched Tesla in the United Arab Emirates, the AE, the UAE. It's mostly about the bandwidth and speed of the connection between your brain and the digital version of yourself, particularly output. Now, psychology have always been looking at the electricity in the human brain, the synapses, as they call it. The article goes on to say that Musk explained that he must by saying that computers can communicate at a trillion bits per second while humans whose main communication method is typing with their fingers via a mobile device can do about 10 bits per second. In an age when AI threatens to become widespread, humans would be useless. So there's a need to merge with machines, according to Musk. Now, I find it interesting they keep talking about becoming irrelevant or useless. We're living in a time where people want to be relevant. You have trolls on the internet that want to be relevant and they're relevant through trolling people that have a great number of followers, subscribers. They get on social media and they do things that they would not normally do in their everyday life just to be relevant. So they're using you being relevant and useless to, to usher out the mark of the beast. Now, many of us like to talk about how the snake bite is the mark. If the Bible is correct, it says that in your hand or in your forehead, not in your arm. It's alleged that the venom from the snake bite has nanobots in it. Dust size microchip. If that is true, then we can say that this article that I'm reading to you only validates what many people are thinking about. It says, some high bandwidth interface to the brain will be something that helps achieve a symbiosis between human and machine intelligence and maybe solves 
the control problem and the usefulness problem must explain. The technology proposal would see a new layer of a brain able to access information quickly and tap into artificial intelligence. It's not the first time Musk has spoken about the need for humans to involve, to evolve. But it's a, cons a constant theme of his talks on how society can deal with the disruptive threat of AI. Now, this is another article uh, from Fox News Live, and it's titled, Human Brains Could Be Connected to the Internet in Next Few Decades, Scientists Predict. Remember, they're constantly being told to follow the science? This article was published April 15th, 2019. Again, they tell you what's coming. They put it out there. They don't expound on it or harp on the information, but yet they would take your mind. Your mind is constantly being programmed and trained and manipulated. And because of the fact that they're dealing with your emotions, and not your intellect. It is so easy to, for you to fall prey to the cunning tricks of the devil. It's easy for you to get caught up because, again, while you're over here fighting racism, white supremacy, and you're fighting each other, especially within the black community, you're not paying attention to what's going on over here. It's like these democratic blacks and even whites that's still complaining about Trump, although Trump is no longer president. Everything that you're dealing with now is a result of the, the Biden administration, Biden-Harris. We can't let her get away with that. See, before you used to be able to say, oh, he's trying to clean up what Trump did, which there are some blacks that are saying that. But everything, everything you're dealing with now from high price inflation to gas prices uh, to these mandates, people losing their jobs, everything is solely because of the Biden administration, but no one I don't see any so-called black Democrats speaking out or complaining about Biden like they're doing Trump. It's like Biden gets a free pass for destroying you. But that's off my topic. The article says in closing, a new research study suggests that human brains could be merged with technology significantly sooner than many expect, perhaps within decades. Known as the human brain slash cloud interface, researchers at the Institute for Molecular Manufacturing in California have suggested that nanorobots could be implanted into the human body and connect it to a network in real time. Now, I want you to pay attention to this last paragraph. This is vitally important for you to listen to what's being read here. And this will give you insight to what is going on right now. It will give you insight on why so many people are losing their jobs. And so many people are being blamed for something that's completely out of their hands, that they have nothing to do with. But they're being blamed for it because they refuse. 
something to be injected into their bodies. Pay close attention. Known as the Human Brain Slash Cloud Interface, researchers at the Institute for Molecular Manufacturing in California have suggested that nanorobots could be implanted into the human body and connect to a network in real time. This is the final paragraph. These devices would navigate the human Relicature. Cross the bloodline, uh, cross the blood brain barrier. Pay attention. These nanorobots are on the move once they enter your body. This is science. These devices would navigate the body vas vasculature cross the blood-brain barrier, and precisely auto-position themselves among or even within brain cells. So these devices, these nanorobots, have intelligence. Once they enter your body, they become on the move so small that the human eye cannot pick it up. It looks like human, or better yet, it can be mixed with liquid. And you will never see them, they're so small. Microchips. Or better yet, I'm going to even go as far as saying that the nano robots are different than the microchip. The microchip the mark of the beast will come later, not right now. So what many of you see as the mark of the beast is not the mark of the beast. It's more of an introduction of the mark of the beast. It's preparing you for the mark of the beast. It's preparing you to receive the mark of the beast because once you receive that microchip, once you receive that mark in your hand or in your forehead, then that microchip, if it's a microchip, then that microchip now will give instructions to that nanorobot that was implanted inside you already that will sit dormant. So I made in a video some years ago, you'd be surprised if your thoughts are really your thoughts. What make you think your thoughts are your thoughts? Your actions are your actions. It's only been like the last few years that humans have been thinking for someone else rather than thinking for themselves. Most of you don't have power nor control over your own mind, but your mind has been manipulated. Your mind has been compromised. And you think they are your thoughts and they're not. When you attack another human being for choices over their own life, you're doing the work for the beast. Those are not your thoughts. You're being controlled. You are being manipulated. Right? So what make you think that your thoughts are your thoughts? that your brain have not been compromised in what you allow to be injected inside you. I'm going to read that last paragraph again in its entirety. It says, these devices would navigate the human vasculature, 
cross the blood-brain barrier and precisely auto-position themselves among or even within brain cells. The studies censor Arthur, better yet, the, the studies senior author, Robert Freitas Jr., said in a statement, they would then wirelessly transmit encoded information to and from a cloud-based supercomputer network for real-time brain state monitoring and data extracting. Extracting data to and from your brain. I had a vision a long time ago and I placed it on my dream channel. I'm going to put a link to that vision in the description box and I want you guys to go listen to that. And in that vision, I saw a supercomputer. I also saw like a rat and, you know, just some different things going on. And I walked into this room. I wasn't supposed to be there. But they had all of these mainframe com computers and networks and stuff like that. Now I'm starting to understand what that meant. I'm now starting to understand what I was being shown in that vision. See? So I'm going to put a link to that video on the bottom. And I want you guys to watch it and then feedback and tell me what you're thinking. While you're on my dream channel, I want you to subscribe. So, the purpose of this video is to prepare your minds for what's to come. To prepare your mind for what's already happening. We're living in the last and very evil days. The last of the last of the evil days. And if you have not gotten yourself right with the most high, now is the time. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app, support this channel until next time. I'm fearless.